Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be running through how to use Tailwind, a scheduling tool for Pinterest users that helps you to save time and energy in scheduling Pinterest pin images to your Pinterest account. Now, if you haven't heard of Tailwind before, well, let me just give you a brief rundown on what the actual functions of Tailwind is. So Tailwind, like I mentioned, is a Pinterest scheduling tool. It's also an Instagram scheduling tool as well, but personally, I've only ever used it for Pinterest. And what it does is it allows you to upload your created pins, so pin, pin images that you have created to the scheduling tool and it allows you to pin these out and schedule them out to multiple boards within your Pinterest account. Tailwind also has a feature called Tailwind Communities, which allows you to pin to multiple communities similar to group boards within the Pinterest community. So this allows you to get access to thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of different Pinterest users all over the world. So why is Tailwind so great? Because I believe around 40% of Pinterest users are in a buyer's mindset. Actually, this could be over 50%, which is different to Instagram or Facebook or anything like that. Now, Tailwind just makes this so much easier for me. It allows me to upload hundreds of pins to my boards, which allows me to be seen by even more people. It's something that I've been utilizing in my business for over six months, six months to close to a year now, and I have really seen the benefits. Now, I actually have a special link in the description box just underneath this video, which allows you a free trial of Tailwind. It allows you up to 100 free pins, so you can schedule out 100 free pins to your account without ever being charged. So there's no time limit on this. You can use that for as long as you like. And if you feel like it's something you would like to upgrade to, then by all means. Now, Tailwind is a paid service. It's a paid software. In my case, I believe it's well worth it. For a low monthly fee, I can um, generate, you know, hundreds of dollars of sales within my Etsy shop. Okay, so here is the um, Tailwind app. So this is what you'll be directed to once you click that link in the um, description box below. So it just gives you a little bit of a rundown on what Tailwind is, about the company and how it can benefit you. Okay, so once you do log in to Tailwind, um, you're going to have access to your dashboard. So let's just go ahead and open it up now. So once you are in Tailwind, this is what you're going to see. Now, I just want to draw your attention to how much reach I'm able to get using Tailwind. So you can see here, I've submitted 208 pins. I've had 174 reshares. I've had 18 repins and I've had over 704,000, nearly 705,000 people reached just by utilizing Tailwind communities and Tailwind scheduling tool. OK, so you can see that there's definitely um, a benefit to using this um, software. All right. So what I want to do today is I want to run through two things. I want to run through how I actually use the program myself in order to upload and schedule pins to my um, boards, so my own boards. And then I also want to show you how I utilize Tailwind Communities, which is a feature of Tailwind that allows me to pin and repin other people's content within the platform to help me get even more reach with my products. OK, so let's run through first Tailwind Communities. And the reason why I want to run through Tailwind Communities first is because as we upload our own pins, there's a feature and a button within that um, section that you can actually repin to the communities directly from your scheduled pins. So I will explain that in more detail as we go on. So let's go ahead now to Tailwind Communities and I'll explain to you how you can first find the community that are relevant to you and your business and specifically your ideal customer and then how you would pin that content onto your own boards. So very first thing you want to do is you want to go to the top button here where it says find a community. Now if you're not within communities all you need to do is just select this icon here where it says Tailwind Communities and it'll bring you to this page. 
let's go to find a community. Now, within Tailwind, your monthly subscription allows you to access five different communities and it allows you to repin your content up to 30 times um, per month. Okay, so um, if you want to find out more about that, all you need to do is just hover over here. So if here it's got five out of five communities because I'm part of five communities and then monthly submissions, we've got 30 here. Um, if you would like to upgrade that so you can add more communities and more monthly subscription, sorry, submissions, all you need to do is um, use your power up. And this comes at an additional cost per month um, in order to do that. So um, for me, I haven't needed to do any upgrades. I'm happy with my five communities and 30 pins per month. So I just thought I would let you know that. Okay, so what you want to do to find your communities is you want to go ahead in the search bar and start typing in the keywords that's relevant to your ideal customer. Now I sell um, Canva templates to business owners. So let's go ahead and just type in business here into the search bar and press enter. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna give you all the results with communities that are related to business type content. So you can see here the very first one, bloggers and creative infopreneur tribes. You can find out information about each community by just hovering over the about section here. And then you can also check out the community guidelines. Generally for communities within Tailwind, the repin schedule is one-to-one. -one. So for every one pin that you pin to the community, they would ask you to repin one of somebody else's um, content to your own account. This is how you get, um, you know, you get seen by multiple people and how other people's content gets seen by your community and your own Pinterest account followers. Okay. You can see here how many members are included within each community and also the activity level. I believe anything three uh, rows and above, I consider high activity. Okay. And you can see here that I'm already a member, so I can't actually go ahead and join it. But if this wasn't um, available, it would say something like uh, request to join or join this community. At the moment, I can't add any extra um, communities because I've actually reached my limit of five. But if you wanted to go ahead and go add a power up to request um, or add a power up to join each individual community. So you can see this one here, Pinterest friends has 7,126 members, but it's got low activity. So you just want to try and find that balance between the both. Um, probably this one here. So the 2000 members with the high activity. So marketing advice for create, uh, creator preneurs. So you just want to make sure that you're joining communities that are relevant to your own Pinterest account and also relevant to your users. Okay. So that's how you would find communities. Once you've found all the, your communities, what you want to do is go to your communities here and um, you can check out and start utilizing each individual community. So to access your individual communities, all you need to do is just hover over here and click this button and it's going to give you all of your communities that you're currently a part of. It's going to give you some stats. So it's going to give you your recent activity, um, how many pins you've submitted and how many pins have been shared. So um, for example, let's go to the bloggers and creative infopreneurs. That was the one we were checking out just recently in the find a community section. So you can see here that currently um, there are over 130,000 new pins that you can check out. Um, and then here um, just next to it is yours. So um, the pins that I've added to this community. So what you want to do in order to um, add these pins to your own schedule on Tailwind is you want to go ahead and just start searching for pins that are related to your account. So for example, here, we've got 12 blogging skills you can make money with. You can click on that to check it out, or you can go ahead and just um, pin it straight to your account and use this as content for your Pinterest account. So to do that, all you need to do is type a board name. So go ahead and click here and then add it to a board that's relevant to your Pinterest account. So this would be relevant for blogging tips, which is a board that I have in my, um, in my Pinterest account. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You can add multiple boards if you like, but for now, I'm just going to leave it as the one. And then to schedule that out, all you would do is go add to queue. And then that's going to schedule it to your queue, which will get pinned out to your Pinterest account once there's an available time slot 
for your pin to um, be pinned. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So you would just go ahead and start scrolling through, start seeing what might be relevant. You don't want to, you know, maybe pin any competitive products. That probably wouldn't be such a good idea. But complementary products or complementary articles, that would be great for your um, audience. So here, how to know what product to launch to your audience. I've got like a online course creator board that might be relevant too. So let's go ahead and type that online course creator. Let's go ahead and pin that one to that board and go add to queue. Okay, so that's how you would do it. And so what I would do, I would spend a few minutes, maybe 15 to 30 minutes per month going into your communities and then scheduling out some of these pins to your own account. Okay, now let's go ahead to the second part of this tutorial where we'll upload our created pins, so our own personally created pins to Tailwind and then schedule them out. Okay, so to do that, all you need to do is go to the publisher section within Tailwind. So click on that icon there and it's going to take you to a different section within Tailwind where you can start scheduling out your pins. Now, I just want to show you around here. So currently I have 336 pins ready to go. So this is scheduled out for the next month, I believe. And then here are all the details of each individual pin that I have selected, um, sorry, that I have scheduled out. Here to the right, you're going to find your schedule. So this is a schedule of what will be pinned out to your Pinterest account each and every day up until um, your very last pin. So you can see here today, I've got a couple of pins that are going to be going out. And then I have pins scheduled out to, let's see, um, August... Uh, here we go. So uh, up until Tuesday, August 17th, I have pins that are already scheduled out, ready to go. So you can see I've got a month worth of content here. Now I'm going to show you um, just quickly how you can change your schedule. So depending on how many times you would like your pins scheduled out per day, you can do that by going up here to your schedule. Currently, I have eight pins on average going out per day, but you can change this quite easily by going to recreate schedule. I believe when I first started on Tailwind, I had between three and five. So you could change this to three pins per day, or you can go to five pins per day. I'm going to leave it to eight because I feel like that's been working well for me. And it says here, your pinning frequency is in line with current best practices. If you go too much, it'll just tell you that um, they don't want you to pin too many times per day because they don't want you to look spammy. Okay. And then you'll just go recreate schedule. So um, the great thing about Tailwind is it's taken all of your previous data. So all of the users that use your account and they've checked out to see what times are best suited to start pinning out your content. So here automatically it's created a time schedule. So on Monday, I've got posts going out at all of these different time slots. Now you can add different time slots if you like, but personally, I just leave this as is. I let Tailwind do its thing and figure it out and it'll pin at the right time for me and my content. Okay, so that's how you would um, change up your pinning schedule. Okay, so now let's go ahead and demonstrate how you can upload your own pins to Tailwind that'll eventually get scheduled out to your Pinterest account. So go ahead to the draft section within Publisher, just at the top here by clicking drafts. And then to start uploading your own pins, all you need to do is go to create new pin and then upload photos and videos. And it's gonna allow you to start selecting the images that you would like to add to your drafts. I've already created some pin images using Canva, but what I would suggest doing is every time you create a brand new product for your Etsy shop, go ahead and create between five and 10 different pins that you can upload into your publisher account here. So your Tailwind account, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and upload that now. So it's gonna start uploading all of your pins to the draft section of your Tailwind account. And then once that's done, it's going to just upload them here to, to the draft section. Okay, so there's a couple of things you want to take note of before you start scheduling out all of these pins to your account. What you want to do is you want to make sure you have a few things ready to go. You're going to obviously want your pin. You're going to want a URL of that pin, so the link to that exact product. You want to have a description for that pin. 
You also want a pin title, which sometimes can be populated um, when you add your link. So that's why I like to start with the link first. And then you want to add them to different boards. Okay, so let's go ahead now. I'm going to go to my Etsy shop and select the link for this exact product. So here's the product here. So the email list builder bundle. Let's go ahead and click on that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab this link. So all you need is up to these numbers here. You don't need all the rest of that text, but just go ahead and copy that. Paste it into another tab just to make sure that the link isn't broken. That's working great. Okay, let's go back to Tailwind now and start adding this link to each individual pin. Okay, so I'm going to add them here. So just pasting them in. And as you can see, as I start pasting in these links, the title here is actually populated by um, automatically. You can go ahead and change this if you like, but just to save time, I like to leave it as is. Okay, so go ahead and add that to each individual pin. I think I've got seven pins here ready to go. And one more, very good. Okay, so that is the URL and by default we've done the title. Now let's go ahead and add a description. You can go ahead and start typing in your own description here, but what I like to do to save time is copy the exact description from my product listing. So let's scroll down, go to description. Let's open that up so we can see a bit more. Now I'm going to copy all of this information here that's it. And then go ahead and paste that in. And hopefully we've got enough character availability there. It seems so. Oh, no, here we go. Your pins description can only be 500 characters. Maybe just edit this a little bit. OK, there we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this into each individual pin. Fantastic. OK, so we've got our URL, we've got our description, we've got our title. Now we need to add all of these pins to different boards. Now within Pinterest, so you can do all of this within Pinterest, right? But you can only add each individual pin to one of your boards at a time. The awesome thing about Tailwind is that you are actually able to add multiple pins to multiple boards all at one time. So you can imagine that if you, let's say, had 10 pins, right? and you uploaded them to 10 different boards, that is 100 pins created within just a few minutes. So you can see how um, amazing and efficient Tailwind is. So you can do this by going and typing in a board name for each individual pin. But what I like to do is I like to use this section here where you can add a board to all of your pins. Now, Pinterest and Tailwind recommend doing this for no more than 10 of your boards. Anything more than 10 is regarded as spam, so you just want, don't want to do that. So try and stick to under 10 boards. I'm going to go ahead now and select a few of the boards that I feel like that this product is relevant to. Um, and then I'll show you how to um, schedule these out to Tailwind Tribes and also your own account. Okay, so I've added um, all of these pins to these 10 different boards. So if we scroll down now, you're going to see each individual pin has now these 10 boards ready to go and ready to be pinned to. Okay, so that is all you need to do to create your pins. Now, before we go ahead and schedule all of these to our um, schedule here to the right, what I want to draw your attention to is how you can add a few of these to your Tailwind communities. So you can do this within the scheduling or the publishing areas just by going down and seeing at the bottom here, just under your description is an icon and it says add to communities. Let's go ahead and add this pin to one of our communities. So you can see I've got 26 pins left for this month. So what I want to do is I want to add this to that blogger and creative infopreneur tribe, the one that we were looking at previously within our community section. So let's go ahead and add that one to this board and go, sorry, that to that community and go add to community. And what it will do is um, this pin will be scheduled out to that community once it has been published to my own account first. So if you scheduled this one week from now, this pin won't be scheduled to that community until one week. OK, so the same time it gets pinned to your account will be the same time it gets pinned to the community. So just keep that in mind. So we've added that one to the community. Let's go ahead and add the next one here to a community. Let's go ahead and add it to perhaps a different one. Let's go this one up here, go add to community and maybe this one here. 
Let's go add to community and maybe this one here. Okay. So now I've used up all of my 30 pins for the month just by adding it to these communities. So it can get seen by thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of different people um, and the potential to be repinned by other account holders. Okay, so once you're happy with that, you've uploaded your pins, you've scheduled what you would like scheduled out to Tailwind communities. Now all that's left to do is schedule all of these out. So all you need to do is go to schedule all drafts and it'll start adding it to your next available time slot within your schedule. So you'll start seeing this populating within our account here. So there we go. So we went um, from over just over 300 pins, I believe, 330 something, to now ha having 406 pins out and ready to be scheduled to my Pinterest account. Let's go ahead now and see how long um, we've got this scheduled out to. So scroll all the way down. So I believe it was August 17th and now we've got it scheduled out until August 26 and that's based on eight available time slots per day. So this is pinning eight times per day and I'm still able to get pins out up until August 26. Isn't that amazing? Now you're going to notice that it's going to bulk um, add them all to the bottom here. So you're going to see that a lot of the days are all of the same content. Now you don't want this, you want it to be mixed up. So in order to change this up a bit, all you need to do is go to the shuffle queue here and it's just going to shuffle all of your pins so that um, it's there's more variety for each and every day. Okay, so you can see now there's more variety. Though Those pins are, have been allocated to different time slots within um, you know today's date going forward. Okay, so you can see how quick and easy it was to utilize Tailwind to schedule out all of your social media for Pinterest. So this means that you save time. Like, you know, if you compare this to Instagram or Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, it's just so much less stress, so much less overwhelm, so much less time involved. You know, those other social media platforms, you have to be on there daily, if not multiple times per day. Um, you know, to advertise your products. Using Tailwind and Pinterest specifically, you know, you are advertising your products. So you are showing your products to people who are actually in a buyer's mindset. So you can see how, um, you know, using and utilizing Tailwind has enabled me to get over 50% of my traffic and the majority of my sales. So for me, this is well worth it. Okay, so I really do hope that you consider using Tailwind. So if you would like to try it out, get those 100 free scheduled pins that you can pin to, to your own Pinterest account. Just click the link in the description box below and yeah, just give it a go for yourself. You'll be surprised at how much your traffic um, to your Etsy shop will increase. Okay. Okay. So if you do like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do, because I will share more tips, tricks, and tutorials just like this one to help you build a successful Etsy shop selling digital products. Okay. I will catch you next time. Bye for now.